Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to screen this website where Demeter, where Demeter is just info, what population so we're going to extract what population by country this table first let's create our scrappy project I want to create it in a python folder so I'm going to cd my folder now scrappy start project call it population or word population okay now I'm gonna cd to word po no word population and then scrappy gen I'm following the lines here spider the file are gonna call it population and the site we don't need to add the w and http because scrap is going to add it automatically for us now press enter okay create it okay now okay, let's see the two spiders i see if i cannot find okay so i'm gonna see the two word population okay then i'm gonna see the two spiders and then i'm gonna open our file which i called it population so population dot by oh i did mistake okay now oh, it's opened okay now we're going to use as before writing any code we're going to use a scrappy shell so cls scrappy shell so we're going to use comma, scrappy command prompt in order to test our css selectors Okay, now let's press Ctrl Shift C or you can right click and then click on expect. First, it doesn't matter, just click inside the title and go back until you get, you get the, entire, the entire table. Okay, I can see that it's inside the ID pop by country. Okay, gonna use this, press Ctrl F to open this. Uh, so, but when there is a class, we, did a dot, we put a dot, we write a dot at the beginning, but when it's an ID, we put a hashtag. Okay. It looks like a two. So I'm gonna write table. I'm gonna uh, first specify table, table. And now we get, we got this table, amazing. I don't wanna scrape the header. I want only the content. This is the thread, okay, collapse it. Okay, T body, okay, T body, the content is on the T body, so T body, amazing. And then we have a row, each row, table row. Okay, let's uh, try to print the first row using the scrappy command prompt response. Okay, we've got 200, everything is okay response.css i'm gonna use this one and try to do text what i'm going to get what i'm going to get get no i'm not going to get anything if you do text hmm yeah because the data is inside the td yeah i'm not going to get anything i'm gonna loop through the data and print only the first one and see how it how it works for a row in okay and then we're going to do print a row dot css td we said it's inside td and print the text text okay and then do dot get all because i want to print all the column and then close the print statement and then have brick to print only the first row let's see okay everything is working hmm that's weird I'm not getting the, the country name. Let's search. Let's search here. Oh, it's here. Okay, it's highlighted. It looks like it's not inside the TDI, oh, it's inside the A. Instead of get, you're gonna do a get all, you're gonna do get and also somewhat specify A here. Let's try to print. I'm gonna use two CSS selectors. This one to extract uh, those values and uh, the second one to extract the country name. Now let's go to coding. That's the, in the scrap is L, so I'm gonna loop. And we're getting here all the data. Row.css, td, text, dot get. 
now we have a list of all our data okay uh, we need the country country is equal to row dot css and we said it's inside the td and then the a and i want to get the text dot get first item okay now i want to access this value so this is a uh, word population population okay is that index one I want to yield it straight away population is equal to colon data index one and then let's get so we're gonna do this yearly change yearly change colon and then data uh, early changes at index 2 okay that's it now we can uh, we need to change this website here okay now if we do exit and make sure that uh, you are inside the spiders scrappy crawl and then file it's called population population and then we're gonna save it into a csv file let's call it output.csv and I'm gonna try to run our oh, code. Let's see if there is a problem. Yearly change. Ah, yeah, I forgot to come right here. Okay, it looks it's working. Uh, item scraped 235. And here we have 235. Amazing. Let's see our folder. Okay, here is our folder. Let's get inside. As you can see, you get the entire data. We forgot something interesting. We forgot the country. Yeah, country country name colon country and now let's run again go to the output again okay good job so now what we are going to do is uh, get in inside this website the link you know as you can see there is a, a site get inside each country and then we're going to extract this this table population of china you know each country population this table from 2020 to 1960 but first what we need to do is extract the links try to extract the links okay we're going to go back to scrappy shell scrappy shell and then paste the link and try to access the link here Control c I think it's going to be the same as earlier as the country, except we're going to use the href attribute. Let's go here and I'm okay, going to copy all of this, paste it here. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't need even this. I don't need this. Let's remove it. I need four spaces. Let's call it link. Or I'm going to print it to see if it works, if the link works. So row.css and then td and then a and then instead of text we're gonna uh, write attribute utter and then open parenthesis a uh, single quote href single quote and in parenthesis and then we close with double parenthesis dot get and then break because we want to get first item to see if it works okay yeah we don't we didn't get the folic but it doesn't matter we're going to use the uh, url join to create an entire url okay it works I'm going to use it and here I'm going to format this and I'm not going to yield it. I'm going to do yield response dot follow and here the URL is equal is, is going to be to get the link. Let's call it link. Okay, so what we're going to do is a response dot URL join and inside I'm going to put a link. So it's going to add the beginning HTTPS and wordmeter.inf automatically for us. And here, comma, and go back to the line. I need here a callback because we're going to create another method to do extraction for the next page. I'm going to call it self country data. Let's call it uh, that way. And then we're going to use a third parameter called meta. Meta is going to be inside a dictionary. We're going to get the, the country name because we want to take the countries to the country data method. So to do that, we're going to do, we're going to country column country. And you will see how we go, are going to unpack it. So def and here, let's create country data. It requires self and then response 
First, let's to unpack the country. So country is called a response dot meta and then country. So now the countries are available inside this country data. This is the way to, to move data between methods. And then here are going to inside this link and try to extract the table. So control shift C, let's go back. It's inside table responsive. It's a class. So dot table responsive. Oh, it looks like there are three tables here. Okay, any specifics about this table? Table list at the end is table list, so table list. We're still using the three tables highlighted, but we want only this table. Three tables with the same class. You know what I'm going to do? There is a, an extension called Select as Gadget, so when I'm in stock, I always use it to help me get the table that I want. As you can see, it's highlighted here and I click uh, the red means uh, don't take it. So I don't want this table. Okay, so now it should be only this table highlighted. So this is the uh, selector. Okay, table responsive, called an nth child seven. Okay, let's paste it here. Oh, it works, it works. Yeah, this table is highlighted. Good job. So yeah, this extension is very useful. I use it a lot. Let's copy this link and go to to our uh, Scrappy shell. And then here, use it Scrappy shell. Put the put that link and try to extract this table. And now I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna do like earlier. I'm gonna use a for loop for for row in response dot css. Paste it. Okay. And now print row dot css. So t thread. Where is the data? Ah, oh, the data is inside the t body. Okay, let's add it. T body, and then table row, table row. Yes. Okay, gonna add t body and table row here. T body and table row. And now we're gonna access the td table data. And then we're gonna get the text dot get. All. And let's see if it works. We're gonna get the first row, so we're gonna prick it. Okay, it works. And here we're gonna get only the year, yearly change, and population. You can do the rest if you want, but just to show you how to, to script the, this table and how to follow pages. Let's go to the card now. So for, can we copy it? Do it like earlier, copy. And here, let's call it data. And now let's do Population is equal to, uh, no, instead I'm gonna yield it straight away. Population, colon, data, uh, so population is, is at index 0, 1, 2, it's an index 2. Uh, we're not going to forget the comma like earlier. And then a uh, yearly change is at index 1. And then I'm gonna do the year is at index 0, data index 0. Uh, we shouldn't forget to, to get the country, so country, country name, country. Okay, now it should work. We're gonna try it. If there is a mistake, we'll see what's the problem. I'm gonna exit and so we're gonna do uppercase O and then output dot CSV. Let's run invalid syntax self dot response. Where is it? Where is it? So, oh yeah, not dot comma. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot the, the the file population. Oh, it looks it's working. Uh, yeah, it's working. Let's just extract the data. Okay, we have 3600 item. Okay, and now if you go to our folder, I can see our file already 112 kilobyte. Okay, let's open it a bit here. Yeah, you can use the filter and select any, any country here, we can get the data. Okay, everything is okay. We extracted the table successfully. And that's how we follow pages.